Hi, welcome. I'm Helmut Licht. Thank you for joining me for this 12th video in a series of videos entitled My God Here, There, Everywhere. Remember please that I am basing all my reasoning on five basic statements. If we could not move and had only the sense of touch, our universe, our reality around us, would be limited to what we can feel. Anything beyond our reach would not exist for us. Our universe would end with our body. That which we can touch is real, and that which is beyond our reach is not. We could describe our universe by how it feels soft, hard, sticky, wet, dry, etc. Our sense of distance would be greatly limited. We might hold two apples, the first one in our left hand close to our body, and the second one in the other hand at the end of our outstretched arm. Then we could say that apple one is closer to us than apple two. To increase our radius of perception, we could now develop legs, which would allow us to move about. Our immediate reality would still be only that which we can touch, but now we also have a theoretical reality which lies one, two, etc. steps from where we stand. We reason, if I take three steps forward, I will be able to touch a table, or whatever. The table, as far as we are concerned, is theoretical reality until we can actually touch it. As it stands now, any reality we want to experience requires either that we move toward it and touch it, or that reality moves toward us. Whatever the case, motion of some kind is necessary. Mere touching requires motion. Reality, therefore, is motion dependent. And as motion brings change and change takes time, Reality is also change-dependent and time-dependent. Without change, there is no reality. And without time, there is no reality for us to be perceived by our physical senses. Let us assume that we only have the sense of smell. Now the only thing real is that which we can smell. Our universe, our reality, would be made up of different aromas. Our universe would begin and end with our nose. If we smell the rose, it would be a wonderful heavenly universe. If foul odors or a full trash can found our nostrils, our universe would be a very unpleasant, hellish one, to say the least. As we could not move, our perception of our universe would be dictated and controlled by the movement of the air carrying the aromas and odors. We would not be aware that air exists because that would require the sense of touch. At one point our reality would be the fragrance of the rose, suddenly that of the trash can. Our reality would depend on what is around us and over what part of our surrounding the carrier of our reality, the wind, has blown last. And again, our reality would depend on air flowing in and out of our nose, which is change, which takes time. Even the reality of smell is still change and time dependent. Our time would be measured by different fragrances, and after a few changes, it would be impossible to remember what came first, second, thirty-fourth, etc. Imagine having forgotten everything and beginning with only the sense of smell. Furthermore, imagine being in an enclosed football stadium where there is a bathtub filled with perfume. As you have no sense of touch, taste, hearing or sight, you would have no depth perception. Your reality would lie in your nose, and that is it. Since your reality is made up of what your sense of smell perceives, if the perfume were to be removed, there would be nothing, absolutely nothing. Since there would be nothing, 
your intelligence and consciousness would be completely still. Then, as you smell the perfume, a whole new world would open up to you. You would experience a totally new sensation. The perfume is making you aware of a sense of smell, which you did not know you had, and the perfume, which you did not know existed. You would also know a time without perfume and a time with it. You would know the concept of change. Though only within your nose, your consciousness, you, would suddenly have something to occupy it, itself with, to stir its intelligence into activity. As the fragrance of the perfume is all that is real to you, in other words, since it is your universe, you would neither know nor understand the meaning of the word compare, because there would be nothing to compare the fragrance to. As there would be no comparison, there would be no long, short, good, bad, hot, cold, etc. No opposites. There would only be this one fragrance. After a while, you would get so used to this fragrance that you would lose all sensation and awareness of it. You would end up in the same state of mental nothingness in which you were before you suddenly smelled the perfume. You see, Perceiving only one thing is the same as perceiving nothing. Adam alone isn't enough. There has to be an Eve. Our intelligence works such that it understands something by its limits, by what it is not, by that which surrounds or replaces it. If you were positioned next to a blooming rose bush, your rose reality might last several days though you would not know the concept of days. If during that time period a person walked by wearing a strong perfume, your reality would be made up of two fragrances. In a sense, it would be a two-dimensional reality. If you smelled an apple, your reality would be that fragrance. If you had the sense of touch together with the sense of smell, you might find that reality is more. It could be an apple. It also could be a glass of apple juice, even applesauce or a hair shampoo with an apple fragrance. Every additional sense would add many new dimensions to your reality and help you be more discerning. It would allow you to eliminate certain possibilities as implausible and help you to arrive at a more accurate perception of reality. Never completely accurate, unless you believe that we have been endowed with all possible senses, but increasingly accurate. Is 45% accurate better than 40% accurate? I leave that up to you. Those born blind cannot imagine sight. Therefore, their reality is limited in that respect. People around them talk about the sense of sight and use it to their advantage. By experiencing that a seeing eye dog can lead them around much more efficiently than they could ever accomplish on their own, they learn to believe that there is another reality, the reality of sight. We should not be fooled into believing that reality is only that which we perceive. Our reality is sense-dependent. Our senses are limited. Therefore, our reality is limited and, and inaccurate, in a sense, not real. The breeze brings us the fragrance of a rose, and our universe is a rose. The wind shifts and brings us smoke from a burning house, and our reality shifts. Light brings us the image of a star, and we point and say, that's where the star is. Gravity, however, bent the star's light rays, and the actual star is really not where we see it. The light has also taken a million years to reach us. In the meantime, the star has moved. Can you imagine how far it has moved in one million years? Things are not what they appear to be. When two or more intelligence centers group together to form a consciousness, 
one of the original intelligence centers becomes the out controlling intelligence for the newly formed consciousness, which means that no matter how large a CU becomes, it is always ruled by a single intelligence center. A human being, which is a pretty evolved, large and complicated CU, is run by one intelligence center. The same goes for the Earth, the Sun, the solar system and a galaxy. This controlling, evolving single intelligence center is called an evolving soul. Every intelligence center has the potential of evolving but only by assuming ever-increasing responsibilities, by controlling an ever-increasing amount of CUs. You may ask, how can my body be run by one microscopic, subatomic, infinitesimal small intelligence center? And I ask you, how can the United States be run by one, comparatively speaking, microscopic human being called President? It is naturally a more complicated task to control a CU than it is to be a mere intelligence center. It is also understandable that the level of complexity increases as the size of the CU increases. On the human social level, it is more complicated to control, run a family of four than it is to run a single person's life. Before you go, I would like to show you a few pieces of my art. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Thank you for your interest, and I will see you in my next video. Have a wonderful day.